Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is the first entry in the Tenacious Tenements competition. Entry number one from Terra Henk. You included the write up. I'll include that at the start of the video, which you should have already seen by now. Okay, so here's the entrance. Let's have a look. It's first time I've seen seeing this. Okay, so achieve the scenario. Tons of money. April year 12, which is, I think, it's more or less how long it took me to do it. Um, okay. I'm just having a look at a few different things. Okay. Sons of guests in the park. Park rate more or less on maximum. Let's have a look. We come in. You've got your kiosks there. Oh, a stand up coaster. Not bad. So, just a quick reminder. So, the scenario was to have 10 different coasters with six excitement. Um, so, that's good to get that done on a stand up coaster. Let's see what it is. Spinal Rattler. Six, but nice. Cool. And then we've got a wild mouse or a wooden wild mouse. Meadow mice. Good stats on that. Bobsleigh. Good stats. Um, so obviously there's no rule about having them as 10 by 10 coasters but that was the general idea behind it a lot of people do ask me for um tutorials for 10 by 10 coasters and they are really hard to make tutorials for because it's kind of like just building them and seeing what fits like a puzzle so a cool mind train just here gold rush good stats and old great wood wooden coaster just there cliff dangler inverted coaster nice stats on that cool and then oh we got a shuttle Good stats on that. Seven inversions. Cool. So it goes into a helix, then goes up the rear spike. Um, what else have we got? Oh, okay. I don't build these very often. I mean, we don't get them on a lot of scenarios. Good stats on that. Nice underground section. And vertical drop. There's a lot going on in this vertical drop. There's a there's tons of track on that. How long is it? Good start. Seventy hundred. Wow. Yeah, I can imagine this was a a bit of a pain to get it to fit. Cool. Some little paths around the outside. Shops, we've got trees. Little seating areas, that's nice. That's a good way of doing it. 
so obviously you've got an access an exit and an entrance area um, and you're away from the main path so guests on the main path can't get onto it unless unless they use that that's a nice little i like that i might i might borrow that uh that way of doing things and although there are some there's a couple of them there's one over here as well which are like a dead end because of the way the paths go in that shouldn't cause any pathing issues at all because the guests can always they'll want to head back to the entrance cool ah we haven't seen the looper squall 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 not quite six excitement so something's happened there i mean i'm sure just adjusting the speed is probably it's probably sorted that out or whatever it's pretty cool though old school guest naming system i like it cool so i'm gonna have a, a sort of an in-depth look at this and then if there's any any things i really really like I'll, I'll i'll point them out i mean i'm sure there's there's bound to be some but i'll just point out a few things then when i come back So I've had a look around and in the write-up, Hank did mention that he's employed some cheesy strategies to try and boost some of the ride stats um, and he's tried to hide them. So I turned off the, the ground view and then you can see where some of these have come in. So underneath the looper, incidentally, I toggled the speed on that one when I noticed all the, all the scenery hidden underground. Um, it boosted it it rejigged it to 5.99 so i don't know whether whether he built this on open rct2 or something and and then transferred it to classic or whether it was done in classic i don't know i mean it doesn't really matter to be honest um so it might be that they have a slightly different way of calculating stats and things like that i mean again it's not really for me to 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 uh to worry about that um because i'm not the one that's going to be voting on it so um there are some ride tracks as well underneath this one and can you see the there's like a wild mouse a wooden wild mouse tracks the red there underneath the stand-up coaster as well and also where did i see some underneath the bobsleigh um and underneath the mini suspended coaster as well so that's like a um well let's use hank's words a cheesy way of of boosting the stats but hey if it works it works um and that's i've got no problem with that at all um yeah again the vertical drop coaster there's a lot going on there so it's quite a long track that is cool and once again i do like these little seating areas something so simple but it works you know all the areas the i tell you what, another thing the the way the, the land let me turn the rides off a second so you can see the way the land has been um terraformed i like that not just in that section but in some of the others as well so this one obviously is a lot of jagged action going on there and then smooth on this one cool awesome so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a poll on the end of the video so that gives you i think it's i think there's five choices you can do on the poll so i think what we'll do is we'll do like a a one to five um so if you 
can give everyone watching give you give you a rating um based on what you've seen and then i think once we've done them all then we can we can then work out i don't know maybe a top five or, or something like that um i'm not sure it's the first competition i've ever done i don't know cut me some slack okay so this was tenacious terraments from Terra hank the first contestant in my tenacious tenements competition if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you real soon don't forget to vote bye